What is going on, YouTube people? New York Cards and Comics here. Today I'm going to talk a little bit of PayPal. Nonsense? Shenanigans? Or just enforcing the rules that they already have in place? Uh, kind of been a theme the last couple of weeks, the whole F around and find out. And this may or may not fall into that category as well. Shout out to Simon 466 Cards. Uh, he did a video on this on Sunday. I saw the same thing pop up over the weekend in the same Facebook groups. Was planning on knocking one out today. So if you want uh, a similar take, we actually probably have pretty similar takes to this, but I would recommend go checking out his video as well on this. So I saw this started popping up on Friday and Saturday in uh, actually a couple different Facebook groups that I'm in. I saw some stuff in Sports Card Nonsense, I believe. Uh, and a couple other buy sell trade groups and then the most notable one was uh, a Facebook group car called old school which it popped up multiple times in there as well and to really kind of boil this all down I can show you a bunch of screenshots of you're unable to use this account anymore blah 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 it seems like PayPal may have went on a little uh, fall cleaning if you will for People potentially, now I don't know because people are cagey around this, which usually means that that's what they were doing, uh, essentially using friends and family, not for friends and family transactions. PayPal has policies in place around this, uh, and if you take too much friends and family, they potentially can suspend your account and it takes three to four months till you get access to your money again. And I think in some cases, they could even keep part of that. And I, you know, everyone's going to yell scam and this is crazy and this is nonsense. How could they do this? Uh, because when you sign up for PayPal, it's in their terms and conditions and you click the little box that said, I accept during that. Now, whether that makes it okay or not, that's up to you, but when you sign up to use their services, you are also signing up to abide by their rules. Now, we may not like their rules. We may not think that they don't make sense, but it's, it's, their, it's their field. You have to play by their rules if you want to play on it. And part of that is if you use friends and family too much, they will crack down on you and potentially ban your account. Because PayPal is a business, they want their 3% on transaction fees. So if you're using friends and family, they are not earning their basically commission as you know, playing middleman for moving money around, and they don't want that. I think the other thing that gets people into a lot of problems in addition, and it kind of goes hand in hand with the friends and family. PayPal has a tendency to crack down on people doing like razes and that sort of stuff. So if they see one person getting a bunch of $5 transactions, $10 transactions in the course of like an hour, that's kind of a red flag, folks. Don't do stupid stuff like that that draws attention to yourself. And like I said, the consequences are vast. They can, when they ban your account like this, they can lock your funds for, it's like 120 days. And it's questionable on what you're going to get back when that ends. Now, a lot of advice that you will see, and I'll kind of echo this, is don't keep a ton of money in your PayPal account. Now, what does that mean? It's going to be different for every individual. Uh, here's how I'll basically boil it down. If you're not, whatever amount that you have in there, what dollar figure are you comfortable running the small risk depending on what you're doing if you're on the up and up you really don't have you have less to worry about but what dollar figure are you okay with getting locked up for four months without access to it if it creeps above that number transfer some out uh, i keep usually a little bit of money in there i do kind of have my own mental like Oh, you know, this is kind of getting to a place where I would like to pull some of this out. But I do keep some balance in there. I absolutely do because I use PayPal a ton, an absolute ton. 
uh, to buy online. I just use PayPal checkout and I usually want it to take from my PayPal balance because a lot of the various hobby income that I make, whether it's selling cards uh, or content stuff or whatever the case might be, a lot of that gets paid through PayPal. So PayPal is very integral to my transactional side of the hobby and content. So I usually run a little bit of a balance in there, but there's been times where I've gotten, you know, maybe a little bit more in there. Maybe I sold a bigger card or multiple cards or whatever the case might be. And I'll go, you know what? This is getting a little too big. I don't feel comfortable with the number that's in here. I'll just transfer it out to my bank. Uh, it's it's not that hard. I get that it's like slightly inconvenient to just not have the cash in the PayPal balance, but I think you're better off to protect yourself. And I don't even do anything crazy. I can't tell you the last time I took a friends and family payment. I am very adamant when I buy and sell, like on Facebook groups is usually where I run into this the most, uh, especially like Marvel card ones where a lot of people will be like, hey, I'll friends and family, you no problem. And I'll be like, no, actually, please, like, I will insist that they pay goods and services because I cannot run the risk of having my PayPal account banned. I have too many different things linked into it. It would be a nightmare uh, if it got banned, not necessarily from the money getting locked away. That would be annoying, but just the having to go through and set up the way a bunch of payment stuff works would be a pain in the butt. And I just don't feel like dealing with that. So I am very adamant that if people are purchasing something off me, that they pay goods and services, even if it's someone that I know. Because I have a lot of relationships or a lot of people feel more comfortable using friends and family with me because they know I'm a content creator in some cases. And they know that I'm less likely to burn someone because I'm not going to sacrifice my public image, if you will. Uh, over a $200 card by not shipping it out or whatever the case might be. So just be careful out there. Uh, if you're using a lot of friends and family, I would one, stop doing it. Two, don't keep much balance in your PayPal account. Even if you're doing everything on the up and up, I still, like I said, I kind of set limits for myself on what that number gets to before I pull money out. Uh, the other bit of PayPal news, which this is not really news. Some people, since this came up, were complaining about uh, goods and services protection on items intended for resale. Essentially, and this actually happened four years ago. This was the be beginning of 2020. So it probably slipped under a lot of people's cracks because this is before a lot of people were making hobby content and kind of following this stuff you know, the ins and outs of all the machinations of these companies. But PayPal in early 2020 did change their policy where you do not have buyer protection on items intended for resale. Now, they kind of loophole themselves around this by, you know, is it for a gift? Are you the end user? Like all this stuff that makes it about as gray as gray can get. So what this really means in my eyes anyways, and this kind of reminds me of PSA's new terms and conditions that they rolled out about a month ago. It is a way that gives the company an out. If, if they feel something slightly eh, or they don't like the vibes or whatever the case might be. Basically the way that they've worded the policy, they could just be like, well, this item's intended for resale. So no buyer protection for you because maybe something doesn't look quite right or they're just not feeling it or whatever the case might be. I think in most cases, you know, you can make a legitimate argument. Oh, no, I bought this for a gift or I, this, I am the end user. I collect this player or whatever. I am not planning on selling this. Like, the whole thing is a bunch of nonsense. You, you could go ahead and pause the video and read. This is a, when the policy first came out. This is on the PayPal uh, help site. Someone posted this very question asking this. And you could see the response from PayPal down below. And when you read over it. It definitely gives you the vibes of we're probably going to cover you most of the time, but if we don't feel like it, we don't 
really have to because the way that we worded this is really what this feels like. So just kind of file that away in the back of your mind as well. And here's the ultimate problem. Yes, they're all there are alternative methods out there. You know, Venmo exists, Zelle, Cash App, etc. Some of those are actually owned by PayPal. Some of those have zero protection at all, like absolutely nothing. And it they're not as generally accepted in the hobby. Everyone has been green ingrained with PayPal, 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 PayPal. And it has the larger user, user, user base. It's almost like eBay, you know, eBay gets the most eyeballs. PayPal is on the most people's phones. So it almost becomes like a default, like you kind of have to use it if you want to actually transact in business. No one wants to lose out on a two or $3,000 deal because they don't have PayPal or they don't accept PayPal. And then the person's like, well, sorry, I don't have the cash on me. So I'm walking. You know, if, if you're okay with that, then, you know, do your thing and don't keep PayPal on your phone or whatever. But most people are going to figure out a way to make it work. So just some food for thought and some things to kind of file away in the back of your mind. As always, you have to ultimately protect yourself in these situations. The companies are only going to do so much to protect you. And the companies are also, in some cases, looking to harm us and also if they have rules regulations whatever on what you can and cannot do when interacting with said company you can apply this to paypal friends and family you can apply this to psa and card cleaning or any other number of things not maybe you don't get caught most of the time and everything is fine maybe you take friends and family all the time and you never have an issue Maybe you clean cards all the time and you never have an issue until you do. And when the issue pops up and you get the email that says you can't use PayPal anymore, or you look up a certain number on a card and it's been deactivated, whatever the case might be, you can't really throw a fit about it because you knew the rules of the game when you decided to play and you got caught. Is what it is. That's all I got for you, boys and girls. Catch you on the next one. Peace.